One aspect of test management that can be quite difficult to manage is where we have test cases that need to be used across different releases and different modules or products. So for example, we might have a main product, which in this example is a submarine, and we might have a number of sub products, engine, periscope, radar, that go together to make up that main product. So in this scenario, we need to do two things. We need to be able to report on the release status for the main product, which consists of the sub products, and we need to be able to report on the individual release status of those sub products. Now the complexity comes in where we have test cases that we want to reuse across both the main product and the sub products. So we're going to have a look at an approach for managing this with QA Complete. So with QA Complete, the first aspect to this is defining the correct release structure. And we've broken this down by releases that cover the main product release, i.e. the submarine, and we have a major release which we've called submarine release one. And then we have defined these sub products, engine, periscope, radar. And within those sub products, we've got specific release identifiers, engine release one, engine release two. So the next part of this then is to create test cases for each of those products and sub products. So under the test library area, where we have a reusable library of test cases, we've created a folder structure to cover tests for the engine room, the periscope and the radar. So a couple of test cases for the engine room, for example, a couple for periscope. Those test cases are then combined into test sets. And we've created a folder structure here for test sets that include integration test sets and perhaps regression test sets, where a test set then includes multiple test cases from the library. So in this example, engine main test set has got two test cases, and those two test cases are from our library and the folder for the engine room. Next, we want to define where and when these test sets are going to be executed. And we need to do that on a release level. So if we view the engine main test sets, scroll to the bottom, we can see that this is linked to two releases. Firstly, it's linked to the engine release, the sub project, and we've also linked it to the main or major sub marine release. So we're going to run this test set and its inclusive test cases twice, once for the release of the subcomponent, the engine, and once for the main release. And we can see that mapping when we look at the releases tab for the test sets. So now we're looking from the perspective of test sets, which are assigned to different releases. So when I click on the major release, submarine release one, we can see we're running that regression test set, engine main test set. And we're also running another regression test set, the periscope regression test set. But in addition to that, we've also run the exact same test sets with the same test cases for our sub products. So when we look at the engine and we can see the releases for the engine, engine release one and maybe some iterations, we can see that we've only run that one engine main test set. And the same is true for Periscope, where we've only run the one relevant test set for the Periscope. And it's this structure that enables us then to run the test sets and run them only against the relevant release so we may select periscope release here or run them against the main or major product release where we would select the submarine release. So for each instance of the run, we have a different set of test results, one to cover the main release and one to cover the sub release. And it's this ability to use different sets and link them to many different releases that is key here each link giving us a different execution run and a different set of results. 
A well thought out structure like this that maps well to the test management tool in use can have big benefits. We have the ability to track and report both on the major and minor project level and we have the flexibility and benefits of reusing test cases and test sets as and when we need them.